This video contains content that some might find disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. The internet can be a scary place. Every day is an opportunity for you to stumble across something you wished you had never seen. But what if an image was so horrible, so unspeakable, that it could literally ruin, or in this case, end your life? In today's story, our narrator seeks out that reality. I'm Ryan Bergara, and this is Are You Scared? A show where I tell my friend Shane Madey the internet's scariest stories. So lock your doors, turn off the lights, and let's see if we can make it until the end. Smile Dog. Mary agreed to meet with me because I wasn't a reporter. I was a college student gathering information for a few early assignments, and I had arranged with her husband, Terrence, to interview Mary in the summer of 2007. I arrived at Mary and Terrence's house in Chicago, but at the last moment, Mary changed her mind and locked herself in the couple's bedroom, refusing to meet with me. For half an hour, I sat outside the bedroom door listening and taking notes while Terrence attempted to calm his wife. The things Mary said made little sense, but fit with the story I'd heard. I could tell she was crying, and her objections to speaking with me centered around her dreams, her nightmares. When it became clear we would not be going through the interview, Terrence apologized profusely, and I did my best to take it in stride. I wasn't a reporter in search of a story after all, merely a curious young man in search of information. If someone invites you over <laughs> and they lock themselves in their room, yeah. that's rude. That's what you've done in every dinner party you've invited me to. I actually do do that at a lot of parties. <laughs> I don't lock myself in my room, but, but there's a- But you do ret retire. I retire for a bit, especially yeah. if there's a lot of people over. Sometimes I'm like, I gotta sit out for 20 minutes. I mean, look, he probably traveled for a long time to do this interview. He's not like a reporter with a big budget. He's just a kid who probably paid his own gas money to College get out there. College kid. Yeah, and then she's just like, I'm not coming out of my bedroom. Uh, can you Venmo me for the gas money? Oh wait, 2007, can you give me some? Can you write me a check? Yeah, a paper check. Mary had been the sysop for a small Chicago-based bulletin board system, or BBS, in 1992, when she first encountered the file. She was one of an estimated 400 people who saw the image when it was posted as a hyperlink on the BBS. Though, she is the only one who has spoken openly about the experience. The rest have remained anonymous or are presumed dead. Welcoming you into a J.J. Abrams mystery box with this story. What's going on here? Wait, What's this guy after? Who I would are argue, these people he's talking to? I would argue, though, that that kind of fills me with a little bit more dread because Absolutely. all we're seeing is this person who clearly doesn't want to share details of some story she was supposed to share. Do not misinterpret my commentary as criticism. What, are you trying to fucking Jedi mind trick me? <laughs> Do not <in> misinterpret <laughs> my commentary. <laughs> I'm having a great time. Oh, you're having a great time. You'll finish reading the story. Smile.jpg was first brought to my attention in 2005, when I was in 10th grade and became interested in web-based phenomena. What caught my attention was the total lack of information about the image, to the point that often people believe it to be a hoax. Smile.jpg is unique in that the entire phenomenon centers on a picture file that is nowhere to be found on the internet. Certainly, the web is full of imitations claiming to be the real file, but those are largely written off as fakes. They do not have the effect the true smile.jpg is believed to have. The sudden onset of temporal lobe epilepsy and acute life-altering anxiety. I think if it was possible to die of fright, you would be a dead man. I think so too. There have been times where I thought I was going to die because I was so scared. Mm -hmm. I will also say there's been things I've seen in movies that have scarred me in the sense like when I do think of them, I actually do kind of recoil into yeah. myself. You remember those the faces of the people who saw things in the ring and the, you, you yeah. find them and they're like. Yeah, yeah, they're like. <gasps> there's something that happens to a certain character on The Walking Dead. I haven't seen that it. is. Uh, Rough, huh? Not great. 
I like that. It's very Lovecraftian, you know, seeing something that is so horrific. It just scrambles you. Yeah. Neither smile.jpg nor smiledog is mentioned anywhere on Wikipedia, even though the website features articles on other more infamous internet rumors. Any attempt to create a page pertaining to smile.jpg is summarily deleted by admins. On its surface, a JPEG provoking said reactions in otherwise healthy individuals is admittedly absurd. The more I researched, however, the more I began to question whether the internet's reluctance to acknowledge its existence was out of disbelief or out of fear. As such, details of encounters with smile.jpg have taken on an air of internet legend. I would not trust the internet to band together to not harm people. We didn't, there's a bunch of people that don't even believe the pandemic is real, let alone a fucking JPEG that could kill you. Of course, this would kill the human race. Yeah, it probably. sure would. It sure would. People would people would have it on uh, signs picketing <laughs> places against the governor for some reason. Like, <laughs> I love Smile Dog. I think he's great. <laughs> <laughs> There are rumors of smile.jpg circulating in the mid to late 90s as a chain email attachment with the subject line, smile, God loves you. There's even one tale about a hacker in 2002 flooding the forums of the website Something Awful with a deluge of smile dog pictures, rendering almost half the forum's users epileptic. If you got sent a link from an anonymous number that said, if you open this, you'll die. You opening it? Yeah. Really? It sounds a little bit like, uh, what's the, um, with the big eyes, Moo Moo or whatever? Momo? Momo. Momo. Yeah, Momo. I yeah. remember people were like, somebody, somebody died because of Momo. It, you know Momo has killed people. That's true. Like, no, yeah. no, Momo didn't kill nobody. Despite the huge exposure these stunts would have generated, very few admit to having actually seen Smile.jpg. No trace of the file has ever been discovered. Alleged victims offered the same description of the photo. A dog-like creature, sometimes described as looking like a Siberian Husky, illuminated by the flash of the camera, sits in a dim room. Near the left side of the frame, a human hand extends from the darkness. The hand is empty, usually described as beckoning. The beast's muzzle is reportedly split in a wide grin, revealing two rows of very white, very straight, very sharp, very human looking teeth. That sounds funny. Sounds awful. I've seen a video where a man drops his dentures and his dog puts them in his mouth. Yeah, it's really good. <laughs> I want you to see this dog with the dentures in its mouth. <laughs> oh God, actually I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Victims claim to see the picture endlessly repeated in their mind's eye during the time they are in reality having epileptic fits. These fits continue interminably, often while the victims sleep, resulting in very vivid and disturbing nightmares. After my failed interview in Mary's apartment in 2007, I sent out feelers to several folklore and urban legend oriented news groups, websites, and mailing lists to no avail. Then, in early March 2008, Mary contacted me via email. That sounds like a curious young man. You know what, I fancy myself as a curious young man. I would be doing the same thing. This could be me and you in some weird alternate universe. I guess Searching so. down Smile Dog. The funny thing is, if it did kill people, you would die laughing and I would die horrified. Yeah. And that would be pretty much us in a nutshell. It'd be a funny way to go for both of us, yeah. Dear Mr. L, I am incredibly sorry about my behavior last summer when you came to interview me. I hope you understand that it was no fault of yours, but rather my own problems that led me to act out as I did. I realized that I could have handled the situation more decorously, and I hope you will forgive me. At the time, I was afraid. For 15 years, I have been haunted by Smile Dog. Smile Dog comes to me in my sleep every night. I know that sounds silly, but it is true. There is an ineffable quality about my dreams, my nightmares, that makes them unlike any dreams I have ever had. I do not move and do not speak. I simply look ahead and the only thing ahead of me is the scene from that horrible picture. I see the beckoning hand and I see Smile Dog. It talks to me. 
It is not actually a dog, though I'm not quite sure what it really is. It tells me it will leave me alone if only I do as it asks. All I must do, it says, is spread the word. It wants me to show it to someone else. That's smart marketing. Yeah, it's, it's, you could tell this guy's, uh, you know, taking some classes in virality. The He's smile at dog. the local community yeah. college. Wait, could you say that one more time? Actually, I, I was taking notes and I missed that last part. What did you say about going so uh, about a street team? Organic? Uh, okay, yeah, <laughs> organic. Yeah, yeah, make it organic. That's good, that's good, that's good. Oh, by the way, sorry that you're all dead now. <laughs> <laughs> the week after my incident, I received in the mail a manila envelope with no return address. Inside was a three and a half inch floppy disk. I knew precisely what was on it. I thought for a long time about my options. I could show it to a stranger, a coworker. I could even show it to Terrence. And what would happen then? If Smile Dog kept its word, I could sleep. But if it lied, what would I do then? What if something worse started coming for me? Why would you show it to Terrence? The husband? Yeah, I know. What the fuck? That's Why would that up. even enter your mind? What? This poor guy who's got a wife who's like, the dog, I'm, I'm yeah. dreaming about the dog again. He's like, Jesus Christ, I'm just trying to make some eggs, lady. <laughs> Maybe that's why she wants to show it to Terrence. Because yeah, she's tired of the, of the fucking flack. It's a dog with funny teeth. <laughs> Go to sleep. <laughs> Many of my fellow victims on the BBS board where I first encountered smile.jpg stopped posting. I heard some of them committed suicide. Others remained completely silent, simply disappearing off the face of the web. They are the ones I worry about the most. I kept the diskette hidden for 15 years. Every night, Smile Dog has come to me in my sleep and demanded that I spread the word. For 15 years, I have stood strong. I get the notion that a lot of people on that board were probably just like, I guess I'm done hanging around on this board where people talk about a dog with teeth. <laughs> the entire time? Like it's some sort of weird deity? <laughs> They're dropping like flies. Where are all my friends? It's like <laughs> they probably got jobs. I sincerely hope you will forgive me, Mr. L. But last summer, when you contacted my husband about an interview, I was near my breaking point. I decided I was going to give you the floppy disk. I did not care if Smile Dog was lying or not. I wanted it to end. You were a stranger, someone I had no connection with. And since you seemed so interested in what had been tormenting me for so long, I thought I would not feel sorrow when you took the disc as part of your research. Before you arrived, I realized what I was doing. I am ashamed, Mr. L and I hope that this warning will dissuade you from further investigation of smile.jpg. Stop while you are still whole. Sincerely, Mary. Oh, I wanna show you something. Oh God. You're gonna appreciate this. Am I? I'm not sure. You just, do you remember that? Fucking God damn it, dude. Son of a bitch. Oh, I'm glad you pulled it up, I man. found the lustful photo. Yeah, I'm glad you had that um, working in the background. I mean, yowza. It's pretty weird that I could see you zooming in. <laughs> <laughs> That's my smile dog. Don't, don't zoom in on a cartoon <laughs> and go, yowza. <laughs> Whoa, look at that spread. <laughs> it's fucking weird, man. I just wanted to jog your memory. So, thank you. Consider it jogged. <laughs> Consider it. My memory just yeah, ran it's, a it's ran, it's ran. It's, it's fucking exhausted. Later that month, Terrence contacted me with the news that his wife had killed herself. I'm sorry, that's not funny. Uh -oh. I just saw a cartoon <laughs> two seconds ago, and I had to read that sentence. There's so many levels of unfair it's to that. It's really photorealistic. <laughs> it really is. Now it's becoming your smile, Doc. <laughs> I'm just going to get through this sentence, and we're going to move on. Go on. Later that month, Terrence contacted me with the news that his wife had killed herself. Terrence was in shambles. He wept. God damn it, son <laughs> of a fucking. It's the worst time for you to fucking show me that. It's like, I can't think of a worse time in this story for you to show me that. Uh. Could you imagine if like there was like some actor about to do like a dramatic monologue and right before the director was like, hey, come over here, come over here. Check out this huh? How photorealistic is that? Anyways, it's clear. very photorealistic. God. God. You know what? 
I'm going to request that everyone just take a peek at it. Oh, just, no. I can't be the only one who share, sees this. It's oily. <laughs> and the pose he's in is so weird. Okay. Continue. Terrence was in shambles. You got it. <laughs> you can't be laughing over there and saying you got it. <laughs> It's a great parallel. It, no, it's not. <laughs> I feel like I'm losing my mind. Maybe you're right. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I got it. <laughs> I got it. I got it. Just give me a fucking yeah, second. Okay. I just feel I would feel really comfortable if someone, if just someone else could. We look can't at ask anyone here to look at that <laughs> because now that is our smile dog, and they will not be able to. <laughs> I would really love for someone else to look at it. No. Okay. Later that month, Terrence contacted me with the news that his wife had killed herself. Terrence was in shambles. He wept as he warned me to listen to his wife's advice. He said he'd found the disc she mentioned and burned it until it was nothing but blackened plastic. Through his tears, he told me it hissed as it melted, like an animal. I think that's just something what plastic does when you burn it. Oh. The fire crackled like a dragon. <laughs> that floppy disk turned into a serpent. <laughs> it glowed like magic. Yeah, I think it's just burning, Dad. That's called fire. <laughs> you ever said something on fire before? I was uncertain about how to respond. Out of respect for Mary, I decided to heed her warning. I would no longer pursue the subject of smile.jpg, at least for the time being. Almost a year after I failed to interview Mary at her home, I received an email from elsahir82 at redacted.com. The subject was smile. Hello, I found your email address through a mailing list. Your profile said you are interested in smile dog. I have saw it. It is not as bad as everyone says. I have sent it to you here. Just spreading the word. That final line chilled me to the bone. The email was signed simply with a smile emoticon. Attached was a file named smile.jpg. I considered downloading it. It was almost certainly a fake, I reasoned. And even if it wasn't, I had never been wholly convinced of smile.jpg's peculiar powers. After all, how could a single image of a dog cause years of nightmares? But if everyone knew the image was a hoax, then why did the legend exist at all? If I downloaded the image, if I looked at it, if Mary turned out to be correct and the creature came to me in my dreams, demanding I spread the word, what would I do? Would I live my life as Mary had, fighting against the urge to spread the picture until I died? Or would I spread the word? And how? Whom would I burden? If this is a real thing, you've seen Smile Dog. Do you think you could would you would show it to someone? Do you think can you think yeah. of one person who would deserve it? I would do one of those things, you know, like when people were protesting Donald Trump and they like projected stuff onto a building. <laughs> Just catch as many people as I could. Oh, so you're going for the mass. Yeah. I want to be a super spreader. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I would do? You know sometimes when you're on an airplane and uh, right before it takes off, you uh, turn on your airdrop and you can see some people have their airdrop as shared That's to everyone. That's a good idea. It's anonymous, but you still get to hear the, oh, 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 God. That's freaky, man. That's deviant. I thought about why I reached out to Mary in the first place, about my early intentions to write a short essay about smile.jpg, and decided that's what I would do. I could attach smile.jpg as evidence. Then anyone who read the article Anyone who took interest would see it. And clearly, since you're reading that article now, you're interested. Could I spread the word? Yes. Yes, I could. So, are you scared?
you're the victim. That's a fun twist. You're the victim. I don't like, I... <laughs> How did I not see that coming? Of course they're gonna attach it. Well, I didn't realize we were reading the article that he was writing. It makes sense because it includes the emails and like the first interaction and all that stuff. But okay. I did know that we were on a one-way train to Smile Dog Town. Yeah, not very scary. Well, I well, mean, the picture. Yeah, when it's preceded by <laughs> Of course it's well, not as scary. scary. I mean, not scary. It's crazy that they're not gonna know what we're talking about. I know. It's fucking. <laughs> Why do I even keep falling for it? I'm like fucking uh, uh, Charlie Brown when Lucy pulls the football away from him. Like it's like every single time it delivers. It's gonna be my new thing. I'm gonna trick I hope you into it seeing it all the what, time. You're gonna fucking buy a mask, like a shirt, maybe some mugs. Yeah. Well, good story. That one actually is written by an anonymous user. So thank you to whoever wrote that. And you've also, uh, without your knowing, anonymously given me nightmares of my own, <laughs> not by your doing. So thank you for that. We'll see you all next week. And are you scared? Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite.